All right, class. So we're at our final week. We made it. Um, when you log into Blackboard under the 5.5 and 5.7 tab, you'll see some lectures related to um, our final topic of the class. So last week we learned about hypothesis testing for a mean. This week what we're going to do is learn about hypothesis testing for proportions. So it's still the same five-step process. Um, uh, that's good and we're going to rely heavily on our calculator and that p-value approach to solving so it's going to be you know kind of I, I think pretty straightforward your last yes. thing here you'll notice when you have the classroom you have exam number four tab right here if you click on this this is your final graded homework and your final uh not your final your last exam so you'll want to download them and you can either download the word document and type in your words there or download the PDF, print it out, hand write your work and then scan the result back in. Um, just make sure when you submit your, your document to me, it's either saved as a PDF, a Word file or a JPEG file. Some of the iPhones take this, um, have a different file extension if you take a picture with them that I can't open. So just make sure it's a PDF, JPEG or document for me. All right, when you look at the exam number four, um, all it is is confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. So it looks like it's five questions. Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit of a typo on that one. Ooh, I have to fix. Um, uh, but otherwise, it's it's pretty straightforward. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions about that? Before I get started. Okay. All right, so here's the one example I want to do um, for you about uh, hypothesis testing. Um, and it, it's related to um, proportions. Okay, so th th this was an interesting example I came across. So Labor Day was created by the US labor movement over 100 years ago. It was subsequently adopted by most states as an official holiday. So in a recent poll by the Gallup organization, which is a survey research organization, they, they talked to 1,003 randomly selected adults and they were asked if, if they approve of labor unions. Okay, so do you think labor unions are a good idea? Okay, 650 of them said yes out of the 1,003 people that they sampled. So it turned out that in uh, 1936, so, you know, a while ago, a long time ago, about 72% of Americans approved of labor unions, okay? So at the 0.05 level of significance, does the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the percentage of Americans who approve of labor unions has decreased since 1936? Well, first off, if you look at the poll, at the survey that came out, 650 people said they approve of labor unions. Out of the 1,003 people they surveyed, so it's down to you know a little bit less than 65%. Okay, so that that seems like a decrease, but you know this is just one survey. So does this single survey can we conclude from it say for sure? Yeah, I think the peop the proportion of people who approve of labor unions has gone down. Okay, so what we're going to do here to solve this problem um, is we're going to just use that five step process. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do, step one, is uh, set up the test, okay? So ignore this part here, but when you look at this problem here, okay, so we, in hypothesis tests, we had right-tailed, left-tailed, two-tailed, okay? What type of test does this sound like? Right-tailed, left-tailed, or two-tailed test? And what's the key word that gives away? Uh, left-tailed. Okay, and what's, yeah, you're right. What's the keyword that told us that? Uh, decreased. Yeah, yeah. So there's always going to be this keyword in here decreased. that gives away, you know, what type of test it is. It's decreased. Okay, so you're absolutely right. It's going to be a left tail. All right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to define the proportion we're looking at here. And the proportion we're looking at here is the proportion of individuals who support labor unions in what year are we investigating it for? 1936. So here's the thing, we actually know what the proportion was in 1936, okay? 
So what are we looking to investigate? That it's decreased and oh, what sure. and what year is it now, obviously? Two thousand and twenty. Yeah, we wanted we we were investigating the proportion of those support labor unions in um this year, twenty twenty. So it's gonna be a left tail test. So you have to set up your null and alternative hypothesis. So you have to start with some base assumption. So what was the proportion of people who supported labor unions in 1936? Uh, 72%. 72%. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the null presumption, null assumption that, you know what, the proportion of people who support labor unions is the same as it was in 1936, that it's equal to 0 0.72. And we're saying, no way. It's got to be less than that. Okay, it's gone down. For whatever reason, the labor movement um, hasn't had the same effect and less people support labor unions. Okay, I generally find that this is the hardest step right here. If you can do step one correctly, your calculator just solves the rest of it for you pretty quickly. All right, so the level of significance was given. Um, it was 0 0.05. So then at this point, we're just gonna go right to our calculator. Okay, so we're gonna press the stat button. You're gonna scroll over to tests, okay? And what we, um, what we did last class for hypothesis testing was this T dash test. Okay, you're actually gonna scroll down Well, where are you? Number five, sorry about this. You're gonna look for this thing called one dash prop Z test. One dash proportion Z test, okay, number five. So here. for portion is Z test, for the other one is just a T test. That's correct, yes. Okay. For proportion, you're always gonna use the Z. So it's Thank one dash prop Z test. I'm gonna hit enter. And at this point here, P sub zero, okay, you have to plug in three things here. P sub zero, okay, that's your null proportion, what you believe it to be. Okay, so it's 0 0.72. X was the number of people who supported labor unions, which is the 650. N is the sample size, which was 1,003. And then you just have to go back and make sure that you change this to a left-tailed test here, okay? That's incredibly important. Change it to a left-tailed test. And then you're gonna scroll down to calculate. And you're gonna see something like this, okay? This right here, Z, okay? That's my test statistic, so it's negative 5.075 when I round it. Okay, that's crazy test statistic. Now your calculator is gonna see something weird like this, okay? So saying your p-value is 1.9, all this, and then e to the negative seven, okay? What that means when your calculator gives you this is it means take the decimal place and move it seven places to the left. So the p-value here is zero point, and then literally six zeros, one nine. Okay, so it's like incredibly small. Okay, very, very small p-value. So that's how we would write it for, I like, guess, the quiz or exam is zero point that and okay. That is correct. Although the problems on the exam I gave you never have something like this. I just wanted okay. to do it. <laughs> okay. okay, Just do something like this. All right, so the next thing you have to do is um, state the conclusion. So you're gonna compare the p-value to the level of significance, just like we've been doing. Um, so do we reject or fail to reject the null? We reject the null. Yeah. Yeah, so we reject the null. Because the p-value is less than the level of significance. Yeah. And what we're saying is this. There is evidence to suggest the proportion of individuals who support labor unions has fallen since 1936, okay? 
We're not saying that it's equal to that 0.648 or, you know, roughly 0.65. We're not saying that. We're just saying for some reason, you know, over the, you know, last 84 years, support for labor unions have fallen. All right, class. So this is basically hypothesis testing for proportions. Um, I think you can handle this on the last exam, something very similar. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Um, right. So would I, so would the left tail and all like, does that, so it's either like decrease for left tail, middle for, like, is it? So a two tail, so left tail, you'll see things like decreased, gone down. For right tailed, your, your keywords are going to be increased or gone up. And okay. for two tailed, the keywords you're going to look for are that the proportion is different or the proportion okay. has changed. Those are the okay. keywords for it. All right. Because, yeah. Cause I you, saw it on last week's and then I just like a I just, it went on my mind, so I wanted to ask. <laughs> no, no problem. So if you log into, um, it, back into the classroom under the 5.5 five and 5.7 tab, the, the one I would really pay attention to is obviously you should watch lecture one is, is kind of like a higher level theory, but lecture three is a really important one. I have a bunch of, I think I have two different problems in here um, that I just show you exactly what I did with the calculator here. Okay. To walk you through so that you can, this can kind of like make sense and, and rehash what I've talked about. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to uh, stop the recording and I'll stick around